All right, it turns out there ain't much to program on these guys. You can't root. The factory settings are pretty much what you got to stick with. Uh, about the only thing I do is you turn up the volume a little bit. And so he's coming. And he really revs up when he gets going. We're on speed step 15 right here. And he's going the wrong way. I want him to pick up a car and bring it into the yard. We got that one car we left out. Let's go get him. Pick him up. Let's go see if we can pull this one strapping guy. Whoop. Now, this I haven't figured out. Normally, ox guarded wheels take care of that, but he's got really clean wheels. Perfectly clean. Nope. Uh -huh. Come on. Come on. There. It's pretty smooth. If you take off too fast, it'll be a little bit of grinding. But, uh, we may have a switch flipped here. I think we have, I think this one section of track where we replaced the switch, there's an on-off switch for that, and I don't think that we have it on. I have to remember how to do that. Okay, wait, what track are we going to? We're going to this track first. We're going to go right here and put him away. And he's going to come out right up to us then. Oh, no, you don't. Now, so we'll get him over to Bridge 15 in a second. Now, say this about this Genesis. There is very little play in that, uh, in those trucks. They do not, they don't turn back and forth. Very well. But, chance that he probably don't need to. Now, can he pull this whole thing? I don't think he can. No, he cannot. Not by himself, he can't. That's for another time. Right now, here's the other thing is that I could not change the setting for is the engine stops. And if you stop the train, the engine will turn off automatically and that's not a function that's even turned on and then you'll get going and it'll start up again and you better be on the track okay. so then you get an engine start this is an economy in here well it's pretty smooth now it is pretty, pretty smooth before Okay, let's take him down. Let's bring him by here. So he goes through spaghetti bowl, no problem. Lights looking good. Turn the bell up a little bit. Let's see what happens. Is he gonna make bridge 15? Yes, he is. He is now a bridge 15 qualified. I think it revs too high. It's almost like train brake mode. So I put him on zero. Let's we'll start dropping down. And we'll bring him up a little bit. We'll start going again. Let's hear him go down. Now, if I can get him rolling before he shuts off, he's got a nice sound. Huh? 
you cannot change to the other engine sounds I found out I don't know why that is you just it won't let you it'll actually make a beeping noise if you change to any of the other three choices so it is it says 567 but when I looked up the date on this MP15 AC as you guys figured out because of that uh, air intake right there you guys figured that out um, I don't know that that's the 567 sound because you can only pick the first thing in the list and I think it just defaults to a list of four things you can only pick one so it is the when I looked up the data on it, it's supposed to have a 645 in it I think but you can't change whatever the engine sound is it is what it is I'll have to go through and see if I can't fix some handrails a little bit but otherwise fully operational now yeah that's the short horn you get short horn you get the long when you hit horn and you just get a momentary I think the bell sounds decent it was just in the settings it was turned way down and there he is I'll fix those handrails put back on the two air um, air cylinders that came off I think we're gonna call it now there's a beacon on here, and I don't know which function the beacon is. That's the other thing, you cannot look, if you know the the programming sheet for this, you get one page where you can override some um, settings, it says do not override any of the settings. So I don't know which one of these is beacon. I have no idea, but there's a beacon there, and I think there, I think there's a light in it. I'm not really actually sure. If there is or not, there's some wires that go up there, but I see there's two sets of headlights on. No, okay, now I get it. That beacon does not have an actual light in it. I think I'm going to go ahead and call it and call it good. Put good handrails and we'll be set. That was an easy one. Very easy. Let's hope that GP40 goes as nice and smooth as this one did. Although, no, I should mention one last thing. One important thing. Remember where we put that green stuff on those tabs under there? Yeah, you have to bend those down and you got to put green stuff on there if you're going to um, solder those because they will touch the underframe and it'll make the sounds go crazy. So I bent them down a little bit and then I put some liquid electrical tape on it and that was that. No more problems. Now we can, I think we can call that a wrap right there. Not too bad. I, I, I kind of like this engine.